Dear student friends, today we shall solve some multiple choice questions on matrix spaces. That means the part that we have studied up till now. Definition of matrix space, limits on matrix spaces, continuous functions on matrix spaces and uh, in which we have studied open sets and closed sets and their properties. Now we shall consider uh, these uh, multiple choice questions uh, one by one to save the time I have written these uh, questions here and the first is we have to choose the correct alternative the first uh, question is in a matrix space m and rho for all x y z belongs to m the triangle inequalities so which of the following four is the correct triangle inequality in matrix space definition of matrix so first is uh, a row of x and y is less than or equal to row of x and z plus row of z and y. Second says the same is greater than or equal to the right side is the same for this. And uh, third is uh, the relation uh, strictly less than this uh, row of x and y is strictly less than row of x and z plus row of z and y. And last one is it is uh, strictly greater than the right side. And uh, by the definition, we know that the distance between any two points is either less or equal to the distance between x and z plus the distance between z and y. And uh, that is the direct distance is always less than or equal to. And therefore, here the correct choice is the first. A is the correct answer. This is directly by the definition. Now the second is for the discrete matrix D for the set R. Discrete matrix uh, we have defined for uh, real numbers R. Which of the following is true? Actually this is this uh, describes the definition. Multiple choice questions can be asked on the definition, can be asked on the properties of theorem or can be asked as a simple example. And uh, the discrete matrix, which of the following is true that we have to observe. The first is D of X and X is greater than 0, X belongs to R. D of X and Y is equal to 1. Where X, Y belongs to R and here the, for the second, X is not equal to Y. Uh, the second is uh, D of X and X means distance between X and X is 1. And distance between x and y is 0 if x is not equal to y. Third is distance between x and x is not equal to 0 and uh, the distance between x and y is 1 when x is not equal to y. And the last one is distance between x and x is 0 and a distance between x and y is equal to 1. So which one is correct? Now you might have guessed it that is uh, the direct definition of uh, uh, mat discrete matrix and the definition is so we have d of x y has only two alternatives is 0 if x is equal to y and 1 x is not equal to y in simple way this is the definition of discrete matrix and obviously d of x and y is 0 when x is equal to y means d of x and x is 0 and d of x and y is 1 when x is not equal to y and according to that this satisfies d satisfies this definition so here the correct answer is d now uh, see the third question if r1 is matrix space with usual matrix that is absolute value matrix then the open ball B of radius one third center zero in R1 is which one? So that um, we must uh, use the definition of open ball. So what is the definition of open ball? Those points which are at a distance less than one third from origin in R1, real metric space. So, so what will be those points? Now if you see, uh, this is the real line and 0 is a point here centered at 0 and the ball has radius 1 third and therefore 1 third radius means uh, those points which are within distance 1 third from 0 and that will be 1 third on right side and what will be on the left side negative 1 third 
So within this, the points will be in this uh, open bar. And therefore, according to that, so we have to check what will what should be the uh, correct answer or what must be the correct answer. Here the choices are open interval, closed interval 0 and 1 third, closed interval minus 1 by 3 and 0, this closed interval minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and last is minus 1 by 3 and 1 by 3. So which one is there? Either C or D or A or B. Now open ball is necessarily open set and which satisfies the condition distance from 0 is 1 third. So therefore obviously this is the open ball means the answer is here D. D is the answer for this third question. Now the fourth one. If M is equal to RD, discrete matrix space, uh, earlier we have said. Uh, and uh, A is in RD, A belongs to RD, then what is the open ball around A of radius 1? By the definition of discrete matrix, see we have to decide it. The choices are the open interval A minus 1, A plus 1, close uh, the singleton set 0, singleton set A, singleton set 1. So which is the right? Now here, now those points which are distance uh, one unit from A in RD. So you may think about this A minus one, A plus one. This is also the interval uh, in which the distance uh, is uh, from one, uh, distance from A is within one. But in uh, discrete matrix space, if two points are distinct, then the distance is fixed to be one. This is the definition of discrete matrix you see distance of x and y is 1 every distinct point is placed at one unit distance from the point x distance between a, if x is not equal to y the distance is fixed to be 1 so therefore a is a point then all other points will lie within distance one unit from a every other point will be at a distance one unit so if the radius is 1 so all other points will be placed on the circumference of this uh, circle and therefore there is no point inside this ball except A that we have studied earlier and therefore the answer here is this ball contains only single set A and thus C is the correct answer here. Now the next question fifth. Every open ball in R1 is what is open ball in R1? Now, if you have considered this as uh, R1 and an open ball around a point, or if you consider X or A, open ball of radius R about A will be, or about X may, may be considered A or X, of uh, radius R. What that uh, will be? Those points uh, which are at a distance r unit uh, or suppose the center about a r unit distance less than r unit distance from a and therefore that will be a plus r r unit distance and similarly r unit distance on left side that is a minus r or actually this open ball is the open interval a minus r to a plus r in r1 and therefore every open ball in R1 is now what is the choice an open interval half open interval closed interval half closed interval so this open ball must necessarily be open set and open set in R1 are open intervals these intervals a minus r to a plus r and therefore the answer here is an open interval so this is the answer for fifth. Every open ball in R1 is open interval. And obviously every closed set in R1 is closed interval. Now sixth question is in a matrix space 0, 1, closed interval 0, 1, with an absolute value, uh, absolute matrix, the set, the set 0, 1 is. Now what about this set? So I shall run this and 
we will see the meaning of this. This is the metric space, say 0, 1, closed. This is yeah, entire, yeah. And uh, the absolute value metric, the set, 0 and half. So this is point half. This is open or half. Open uh, uh, end, open end. And uh, this is, uh, now what about this interval? 0, half. The interval is 0 half. Whether it is half open set, half closed set, open set or closed set. Now we may see that this is M. And what is the, what is the, the open ball? If you consider the open ball of radius half about 0 in M then that will uh, contain the points x belongs to m such that distance from 0 is less than uh, half or distance from 0 is less than half means it is uh, negative half less than x is less than positive half but this must be in m m means 0 to 1 and there is no negative uh, numbers in m so therefore we must take the points in satisfying this condition from 0 on, on right side of 0, 0 onwards and therefore this must be the set, 0 is there, 0 is there in this set because 0 is a point between minus half to plus half. So 0 is there means uh, this end is closed but it is less than half means this end is open and thus actually this set this interval is the open ball open ball in y and therefore it is you might have guessed what must be it that must be open set not half open remember and uh, so why this is so if you consider the entire uh, real number r1 if you consider the entire real number r1 then this will be half open because in that case what we will have x belongs to r1 means all those points all those points in this and uh, thus so this this must be um, uh, negative half to positive half and then the interval is this uh, this will be open interval minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and that is the open interval here so that is different in real number and that is different in m. So therefore here this is exactly in m, m it is the same. So this is open, open in m that is 0 1 and half open in, half open in uh, actually if you consider uh, this in R1 then we must have to write this as uh, open ball we are writing means it must be uh, written in this notation not uh, this one so this must be open ball b 0 and half about uh, 0 uh, radius half about 0 and this must be x belongs to m satisfying this condition and therefore this is open so thus uh, it is an open set in r1 it is half open now what about the last one the open ball B of uh, radius 1 by 4. Open ball of radius 1 by 4 about 0 in 0. Again the metric space is 0 to 1. And we have to consider the open ball of uh, radius 1 by 4 in m1 so that must by definition by definition of open ball it is those points in m m means closed interval 0 to 1 such that the distance between the point x and 0 is less than 1 by 4 or that uh, x and 1 by uh, x and 0 
distance between x and 0 is less than 1 by 4. So that is according to definition or that means x uh, belongs to the closed interval 0 to 1 such that a rho means absolute value mod of x is less than 1 by 4 means this is negative 1 by 4 less than x is less than positive 1 by 4. And now what is the intersection of these two? So negative points are not in this interval. So we have to start with 0, 0 to 1 by 4. So 0 is necessarily there because 0 is inside this interval and therefore this must be closed on this end and 1 by 4 will be open. So this is the meaning of open ball of radius 1 by 4 about 0 and check the answer now. So that is which is the choice, correct choice is A. So this is uh, the answer for the seventh. So remaining uh, MCQs you shall consider in next part. Thank you.